Hey there, it's teacher Jen with OutSchool. Take a chance to like and subscribe this channel. I'm always here to help you grow your OutSchool business. I do have active OutSchool courses going on right now. So you can search my name, Jennifer Taylor in OutSchool, and you will see that I have active classes going on and enrollments. I know some OutSchool recruiters are not really teaching classes. So anyway, it's nice to have a recruiter that has tips on teaching in and building your business um, when you're actually active in teaching, not just recruiting. Uh, and also, if you're starting your business with OutSchool, please use my link below. I'm happy to help you out through the process and every step of the application to building lessons and marketing your classes. Today, I'm going to focus on ways to get noticed and booked with OutSchool. I have just started teaching classes in out school and it's been really fun, but it also has been interesting trying to figure out how to get bookings on out school because as you know, it's an open market where parents can search for topics and then sign up their child for your class. So you're essentially competing with anyone who's offering the same types of courses as you. So here are some tips that I have found that have helped me so far with getting out school enrollments. The first thing that you can do is share your classes on Facebook and Instagram with the link to the class. You never know one of your friends may be interested and sign up their child for your class. Also, one thing you can do is maybe you can tell your personal friends say, hey, I'd love for you to try out OutSchool. Um, I can give you a small discount for your child trying out my class. And then that could be a really good way to start. Another thing you can do is um, when you list your class, at the bottom it says what's next. For the what's next portion, you can set it, set it up so you have another class that can follow that class. So when you are creating your courses, it's a really good idea to create courses that have a similar topic. So if you are doing some grammar courses, you can easily link one course to another that is related to grammar. And one thing to keep in mind is maybe keep those courses kind of open without having prior knowledge necessary from the previous class, because then that allows your students to take the classes in any order. Maybe they'll find an adjective class first and then realize you have a class on proper nouns. And so those two are very different. So those those can easily be taken in any order. So that is a tip that might work for you. So um, when you're creating your classes, I have created a couple of different types of classes. I've created some academic classes, I've created some story time, and some more art of artistic classes. And I'm kind of seeing where, where I am gaining the most following. And then I will kind of follow that lead and kind of focus more on those types of classes. Another thing to pay attention to is the time you are listing courses. OutSchool does give you a chart that shows popular booking times. However, you do just have to play around with it, trial and error, offer the class at a, um, a couple of different time availabilities. That way you can see which time slots are filling up more. For me, my time slots before noon tend to fill up better. I am in central standard time. Um, but again, that's something that you might need to just kind of play around with and see what works best for you. Um, another area that I have had a lot of success with is every week, OutSchool sends you an email updating you on teacher information and also they send parent requests. Last week, there were 400 parent requests requests for classes. Now, some of those might be duplicate classes. There might be already a class that exists on that topic. However, if you go through that email and you see a topic, oh, I could probably make a class on this topic, click on the link. There is a link that says right next to it, create class. If you click on that link within that list, it will bring you into your portal where you create the class. When your class is uh, 
submitted and then approved by OutSchool, the parent who request I can't talk. The parent who requested that class will receive an email that that class has been created. So right there, you can get an automatic booking. I did that for a course, and like literally 24 hours after I posted it, with some times parents jumped on and they signed up. And I'm pretty sure is the person who created the course. They don't let you know, but the the how quickly they they signed up for the class is a good sign that they were probably the ones who requested it. Also, there are Facebook groups designed for teachers. This is where you can list your classes and other teachers can see the classes that you have available. A lot of teachers have kids that are taking classes. So that is a really good way for you to gain some more exposure to your to your listing in your profile. Um, there's even a Facebook group where teachers swap classes with each other or work out some kind of um, agreement where, oh, my child will take your class and your child will take my class. And in return, you both get new clients and then you can also leave some reviews for each other. So it's kind of a win-win and it helps build up your profile and your reviews. Also, if you have a course that has zero enrollments the day before, OutSchool will automatically cancel your course. If that happens, you can go into your portal and into that course that was canceled, and you can click uncancel. A lot of parents tend to sign up their kids the night of the course, the night before the course, or overnight right before the course. So you can uncancel and see if you gain any bookings that way. I know a class that I'm teaching today at 5 p.m. It had two people sign up today. Two people on the day of the class. So you just never really know. You can always uncancel if you feel like leaving that slot available or if they cancel it, maybe you could do something else with your time. But that's that's another tool that you can use to try to gain some enrollment. So that's about it. And please take time to like and subscribe to this channel. Hello, Teacher Jen. I focus on OutSchool and ESL teaching for iTutor Group and VIP Kid. Those are two of my primary two companies for ESL teaching and um, I'm doing out school during the day which is having I'm having a really good time with it and also take a look at my links below I have links for my headset I have a link for the light that I use and the um, the webcam that I use and also I will link those Facebook groups I mentioned where you can share your courses or swap courses with other teachers and again Thank you for coming and I will see you next time. And please take a, t a time. Please make sure you like and subscribe this channel so you'll get all the latest and greatest updates for OutSchool as well as the ESL companies I teach for iTutor and VIP Kid. Thanks.